And it's an absolute pleasure to have in the news talks to be Hokanui Studios, one of my favourite performers. Chloe Dans, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, over the years, you've been heavily involved with Openaki players, and I just love you on stage. Your girl next door looks, and <laughs> you hold a tune, and you've had a real blast with them, haven't you? Yeah, I have. We've hey? become family, really. And yeah. most recently, I, I wrote the review for the uh, Stratford Press, Me and Gus, yeah. and what a blast that was. Ah, oh, awesome. And I think it was written by a local. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Really cool. Hey, look, exciting things are happening in your life. Yeah. You are now part of this indie rock duo called Unintended Strangers. Yes. And you're the melody maker and your lyricist is Robert Griffin from the United States of America. Yes. Hey, how does this happen? Uh, hey? <laughs> Just met completely by luck over the internet, sort of sung together on this little app that you've got backing tracks and yeah. you can sing along to them and we sounded pretty good together. So, so the internet November 2017 and yeah. coming up soon, January 25, the EP at this stage, Untitled, is coming out five songs. That's right. Go You and Robert Griffin. Yeah. It's exciting. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. And in the lead up to Christmas, you guys did a cover of that beautiful um, song for Christmas, Prince of Heaven. Congratulations. Mm. 9,200 views. Yeah, yeah, really exciting, really yeah. cool, yeah. Would Wonderful. you do one of the songs that's coming up on the EP? Yes, yeah, I've got one here called Forget You. Looking forward to it. What's this yeah. about? It's about first love. Okay, yeah. take it away, Chloe. Thank you. Dream your face, it comes to mind. The feeling of your hands so warm and mine. I tried so hard to forget you, but a part of me just will not let you go. Somehow. Just kids way back when I'd stay up hours making future plans. I've moved on, but still you're in my head, and a part of me just will not let you go. Somehow.
Chloe Dance, half of Unintended Strangers. I love it. Yeah. Forget you. <clears throat> so you started off December 7, uh, an oxymoronic song, Beautiful Disaster. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Nothing Is Forever. Yes. And the EP is coming out on January 24. Um, this is going to be on Facebook and it'll be right out there viral and probably... Uh, <laughs> Robert Griffin will see the interview before you. <laughs> was it a bit strange to do the acoustic version when probably, of course, he should have been yeah, contributing? definitely. Hey? That's why I did this one that no one's heard yet, so they won't oh. go, oh, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> hey, I just love it. Life is stranger than fiction. You're so local. You know, you're involved with um, Harwater and the Openaki players. You're a share milker, Eltham Road, you know, between Karponga and Openaki, and you've got this... Um, collaborative um, duo in, in Robert Griffin, who's yeah. the lyricist. Yeah. Hey, how cool is that? <laughs> Pretty out there. <laughs> I know. It's, it's just incredible. Mm. Uh, I just sort of love it. And it's the magic of music as well, isn't it? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. How it's so powerful that it can sort of go across the world. and Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. exciting. Yeah. So everyone will know, when are you guys going to meet up and do a little tour? <laughs> um, so... Uh, Hey, for the oldies, uh, how do we how do we procure? How do we buy the EP? I imagine we'll have it up on our website, unintendedstrangers dot com. Yeah. Okay. It's available for sale. But at the moment, for you techno savvy people, yes. it's through Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and how else can we purchase uh, it? YouTube as well. You'll be able to stream it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. I think it's on some internet radio sites. Also. Oh. I love it when you sing. You never seem nervous. I always feel nervous. So yeah. Thank you for saying. That. <laughs> You've been on a lot of plays. Yes. You never thought of giving um, operatic, New Plymouth operatic, a, a tilt. It's mostly been repertory that you've done, but a lot of your plays involve singing. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think uh, you never know one day. Les Mis would have been wonderful. That's one of my favourite musicals ever. So yeah. they did a wonderful job with that. I just think you've got this wonderful presence and this talent. And I, I, I also love, can I use the word deliberately, your... Um, your demure and your, your humility. Where does that come from? Eh? Uh, maybe my mum, I'm not sure. She's <laughs> yeah. yeah. wonderful. Thank you. So, um, songs is very intimate and personable. You know, yeah. to meet someone on the internet in November 2017 and now be collaborating, that's quite extraordinary, Chloe. Yeah. So I think. Tell me more. Perhaps having that little bit of distance via email made co-writing a little bit less of a nerve-wracking thing because there, there is that physical distance and you can write out your thoughts but no one's looking you in the face while you're yeah. you know co-writing so wow yeah so is that that awkward moment when you get the lyrics of the song <laughs> in is amazing and you're charged with being the melody maker yeah, yeah and then there's the two of you and it's consultative <laughs> but who gets the final say, or has it so far been fairly harmonious? Yeah, I think we've definitely been on the same page with what songs have been a yes and what songs have been a maybe not. And yeah. yeah, we've written heaps of songs and some of. So tell me about songs. Robert Griffin from Texas. He's a consultant. He is. Yeah, tell me about him. Uh, he's got a beautiful wife named Maggie and yeah. a couple of beautiful girls as well, a little bit younger than, than my children. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, they live over there and we're over here, so done all this over yeah, the internet. You know what? It's exciting. You just don't know how what's how it's going to unfold. No. But yeah. you're creating something forever, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a dream come true. Really. Yeah. So. Hey, look, you're a sheer milker. You've got a wonderful partner and um, wonderful children on that. Um, how important is music and performing for you? Very important, yeah. I've been singing most of my life. So. Yeah. Yeah, so it's definitely always been a always been a passion, always been something that's meant a lot to me. Are you you don't strike me as someone who's ambitious and intentional and materialistic when it comes to music. It's almost like you're just gonna let your gift take you where it's meant to be. Yeah. You know, it's almost been a sense of, of, of providence, you know, and serendipity. Oh, I mean I've always had hopes and dreams, but it's definitely always been for the love of music and the love of performing and yeah, that's always been what it's been about for me. So. Yeah. Hmm. so can we claim you? Are you from Taranaki or are you, uh, are you from the Hawke's Bay or something? Where, uh, where do you come from? You, you come from an interesting family. Yeah, well my dad's a policeman and my stepdad's a policeman so we moved around a so lot. So your dad was an itinerant police officer 
And you've been to a lot of schools, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, almost a different school every year. But I spent most of my schooling years in Taranaki. Yeah. Yeah, I met my husband here. Um, this always has so shout out to him. What's his name? Andreas. And your yes. children, what are their names? Uh, Ella and Mario. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And do they sing as well? Uh, they do, actually. Yeah, my daughter has a beautiful voice. So she's done a few things through Open Happy Players, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. That's wonderful. Well, Chloe, you've got a real gift. You've got real presence. And I wish you all the well with Unintended Strangers. And uh, I'll be buying the EP, even though I'm a bit of a Luddite. You might have to show me how to <laughs> buy it online. And that is just wonderful. And it's just great that you've been able to come in. And I've just loved the plays that you've been involved with and that you give back to your community. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me.